morning. Um, different venue today. Uh, we're at Merthyr Moor, which is probably not how you pronounce it, but it's the reserve that's next door to Canfig. Um, it's another dune reserve, um, probably pretty much the same stuff, but you never know. Didn't want to miss it out, it's just down the road, and uh, you never know, there might be something here that's different to Canfig, but I doubt it. But we'll go and give it a check. You never know what we might find. I'm not finding any orchids at the moment apart from pyramidals. I'm sure better uh, better spots will come up shortly, but there's a pyramidal orchid for you. And a nice one. Left or right, left or right, left or right. Let's go right. Good heavens. Orchids at last. This is more like it. Early marsh orchid, Cochinia. That's number three. It's the only different uh, species we can find here. If that's the right expression. It's actually four pyramidal, Tway blade, southern marsh. Cochinia early marsh. Four down. Not the most glamorous of common spotted orchids, but it is a common spotted orchid. So that's five. It's a nice vibrant southern marsh down here. Lovely colouring. very sort of ultra spotted southern marsh orchid certainly impressed by the color of the uh, southern marsh down here if anything they're even more vibrant than the ones at Kenfig. very impressive marsh alabrine not sure what can count above the fingers on one hand but i think that's six Spotty leaves on that one, that's almost certainly a Kernororum, common spotted early marsh. And that one absolutely has to be a Kernororum, very clear. Loops on the front, spotted leaves, textbook. I'm a bit rusty on my butterflies, but I think that's a common blue. sitting on a southern marsh I think. Spotty leaves, one of the other palettes a bit suspicious. It's still a common spotted as far as I'm concerned. Quite a nice one as well. Right the orchids have suddenly uh, died off. We'll keep walking. Hopefully find another area of interest. Now this looks good. This looks good. Little purple jewels throughout this one by the looks. Very high percentage of pure southern marsh here. Not seeing too much by way of hybrids or variations. This one's a nice pale one and a very spotty one. Um, but yeah, about 95% pure southern marsh. Another of these are sparsely uh, flowered, big sort of lax southern marsh orchid with flowers on pretty much one side only of the stem. Should I look forward to looking these up and seeing if I can work out whether they are or are not the uh, Sean Ophelia uh, version of the southern marsh orchid. Certainly looks weird and it looks different 
to your average southern marsh around here. We shall see. I mean, how vibrant is that? It's no wonder you can't find northern marsh orchids here if there are any, and I don't, I don't think there are. Um, the southern marsh are just so lively and dark. Very nice. Plenty of southern marsh orchids here. Good to see. That's very nice. That, that is an incarnata early marsh orchid. You can see just about the sac markings on the flower. So that's an unusual colour. Very unusual. A lovely, another lovely spotted overload southern marsh orchid. I mean, the, the spots are supposed to run down the centre. On this one, they've just blown out everywhere. But it's a pure southern marsh. Very nice. Spotted leaves. Would you call those looped markings on the flowers? Um, I mean, if it's not a Kernororum, it's a uh, southern marsh common spotted. I think it's more likely to be a kernel rawn. There's a lot of marsh orchids around this patch. And it's definitely got spots on the leaves. No marks on the leaves. So I'd normally go southern marsh orchid, but you don't really get these loops. Very rarely do you get loops on the uh, flower on a southern marsh orchid so i'd be more inclined to say it's a southern marsh orchid crossed with an early marsh orchid which again makes sense with what's ar around it but that's quite an unusual orchid to find actually we found a couple at kenfig but uh, at the moment i'll pencil it in as a as a an early marsh orchid common spotted cross we shall see the rare Australian southern marsh orchid that grows with its flowers upside down. And before you reach for the textbooks, it's also a southern marsh orchid that's just bent over. Silly boy. <laughs> Interesting lucky one here. bog standard so the marsh orchid only look at those markings you couldn't get more classic looped early marsh orchid markings and that is not an early marsh orchid so very likely that is a hybrid you can compare it with the one next to it which is a near identical plant but doesn't appear to have the loop markings on it one on the left to Southern Marsh, one on the right to Southern Marsh Cross Early Marsh Orchid, he said, with reasonable optimism. Spotty leaves. What do you reckon? Sure, surely is not common spotted. So common spotted is one parent. Are those loops on the front? Early marsh? Possibly. Early marsh common spotted. I don't know. That's an absolute beauty of a cochinia early marsh orchid. I would describe that as totally pristine. Mint condition. And there's a fantastically vibrant southern marsh nearby, if you just bear with me as we travel. Incredibly colourful. That was a good little patch. 
Let's hope there's a few more like that coming up. Quite enjoyed that one. Quite an impressive uh, dune scape for want of a better expression. Got a feeling we've gone too close to the sea now for orchids, but I will drop down and have a look. It's interesting when you uh, get closer to the seafront, you lose all the marsh orchids, I suppose, because it's drier, and suddenly pyramidal or pyramidal orchids just take over in big numbers, and they're getting well open now. Nice group of pink pyramidals. That's quite a lollipop of a pyramidal orchid. Nice quiet beach. I think uh, my Welsh geography is not great, but I think that's Porth Call in the distance on the left. Might be wrong, but I think it is. Try and get back in land now. Try and find some more orchids, but they're not pyramidal. Oh, it's hard work, but. Uh, that looks quite promising down there. Can't see any purple flecks, but yeah, it looks promising. Ah, would you believe it? Sort of perfect flat, scratchy ground, but no orchids. At least not in this one. Nothing in this one either. And it's like quite a damp area down there, absolutely perfect for marsh orchids. Seems like nobody's told them because there's nothing there. Oh dear, never mind. Lesson number one there is if you're going to cut in land through a gate in the middle of nowhere, make sure you know where it goes. Otherwise, you just get lost, like I am. Uh, my map doesn't work because there's no internet out here, unlike at Kenfig. So, uh, just going to have to keep going. I think I'm going parallel with the coast, which should bring me back to where I came in, which I'd settle for. I'd settle even more if I found a pub out here with ice cold beer. <laughs> Track on. Well I've escaped from the forest but I need to go inland now. I think this is Probably the right path, but this sand dune looks like a potential near-death experience for my poor legs. Jeez. Oh, I know this place is famous for having the tallest sand dunes in the UK. I don't think this is the big one. It's called the Big Dipper. I don't think this is the big one, but Jeez, it's big enough for me. Oh, call the air ambulance.
nothing having clambered down the other side of this dune. I think this may well be the locally known Big Dipper, the tallest sand dune in the UK, because it's mighty tall. Oh, mighty tall. Okay, that's it. I don't know if there's any more scrapes here. I did have a damn good look. I've killed myself, but couldn't find anything except for pyramidal. So I think what we saw earlier on is it for Merthamore. And it wasn't bad. You know, there was some nice orchids there. Just obviously not very many. So I'd like to have seen more. Um, but I'm glad I've come. You just never know. There could have been something lurking here. But I'm pleased I came. We must have seen seven or eight different uh, orchid varieties or hybrids or whatever. So you're not going to complain at that really. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that one. I've got to find my car now. <laughs>